The investigation was uh, launched in July of 2016 after uh, the uh, FBI got intelligence uh, about uh, Russia's intervention in the election, specifically the hacking of uh, Democratic uh, emails and, the, and then the release of those emails as part of an effort to uh, help uh, Donald Trump uh, win the White House and hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign. James Comey, as the FBI director, uh, was overseeing that investigation. The number of people who were as they say, read in, uh, who, were, who knew about this investigation was kept incredibly small. This is a counterintelligence investigation, which is among the most, uh, it is the most closely held investigation conducted by law enforcement. We don't know where it is on the time frame. Obviously, it started in July, which is by t uh, counterintelligence investigation standards, a relatively short amount of time since it started. Um, but in this case, uh, you know, it could be that uh, there's movement uh, towards bringing, uh, you know, uh, prosecutions. And often what happens in counterintelligence investigations is as the FBI learns things, uh, they, they start uh, uh, criminal prosecutions based on that information. What happens next has yet to be determined. One thing I would, I think, is important to keep in mind here is uh, some of the information that's leaked out that has so frustrated the White House has come from people who are uh, concerned about uh, the policies of this administration. The decision to uh, get rid of uh, Comey in this way has angered many people at the FBI. Some of those people that we have talked to have said that uh, they expect uh, there to be additional uh, disclosures uh, in the weeks and months to follow, in part because uh, they feel like uh, the way this happened um, was not uh, justified and amounts to interference in, in what they see as, as a independent investigation by the FBI into what happened in 2016.